As Taiwan's election day approaches, the opposition Kuomintang (KMT) and the Taiwan People's Party (TPP) advocate for a parliamentary system to balance political powers if elected. This would subject the president to parliamentary oversight during their time in office. Supporters argue that this move would strike a balance between power and accountability, but experts point out a central challenge. They say they want a parliamentary system, but I think it's a statement suited for their position as the opposition parties. Before President Tsai Ing-wen was elected in 2012, she was also pushing for a parliamentary system. It receives media coverage every time candidates mention it and is often brought up in debates. But when they are elected, do they put it into practice? Not really. Taiwan's political structure currently leans towards a semi-presidential system, and it has undergone seven constitutional amendments since 1991. The most significant of these changes was the 1996 amendment that eliminated the need for the legislative yuan's consent in appointing the premier. Despite past proposals by the Democratic Progressive Party (DPP) for a cabinet system, it did not materialize. Experts suggest that candidates need to demonstrate their sincerity by presenting concrete plans for implementing such a system, including the issuance of a white paper. Many also doubt whether the public would support such changes. First, the parliamentary system won't attract much support under the current political climate because it's complicated and most don't understand it. Secondly, we've grown accustomed to Taiwan's electoral structure under the presidential system. Can a parliamentary system appeal to the public? This needs time for education and implementing corresponding measures. While a cabinet-run government may seem appealing on paper for Taiwan and is the standard in many democratic countries, experts argue that most countries adopting such a system originate from constitutional monarchies like England and Japan. Given the sensitive nature of issues like cross-strait relations in Taiwan's politics, adopting a parliamentary system could make it more challenging for government officials to reach a consensus. Nevertheless, the KMT and TPP persist with their proposals as the elections near their final stages. Liu Lijun, Yu Xinghan, Vivian Xiao, TVBS, World Taiwan.